the second topic in this regard, you know, how to how to trade wages for higher probability of success is to only take counter trend wages instead of any wages because market constantly make wages, wages, parabolic wages, four-legged patterns, you know, stuff like that, but they're not all equal. The ones that have the highest probability, and this is like upwards of 80% chance for two legs in the opposite direction, they are the ones that are counter trend. This is an example of that, counter trend. Big breakout, this one will have a second leg of some sort. This is counter to that. Odds are this is going to be the pullback from this one, and you will get something. And that something was this. It was not symmetrical, but there was something tradable. This one is counter trend two. So two legs, two big legs, and then three parts in here. That this tail is the last part. So down once, down twice, down three times on reversal. And three legs down here. So it is a two-legged pattern that has two small wedges in it. And both of them are counter to the direction of the day. Day was, remember last time we talked about two or three very strong bars on the open. This is usually the direction of the day. So this is counter to that. Odds are this is going to get a resumption. Even if you don't see all the details that I talked about in here, 18, and what happened here, so this is one of the cases that you have more than 80% chance of trend resumption at this point, especially after two good bull bars. But this one is not. So another wedge here, you can say, so all of this one leg, two legs, three legs, or one leg, two leg, three leg, you know, however you want to count it. This one is not very good because this is in the direction of the trend. And when the market is strong and it has just began something new, this is the beginning of something new. We transition over the moving average on, on the 60 minute chart. And, you know, the prior structure was a climax. The wedges are, that are in the direction of the trend are sometimes not even 60% reversal patterns. They fall in that area of 50 to maximum 60 but not 60 and something higher. So be careful with them. It doesn't mean that you can fade them. Like, you know, you see the wedge and you're stubborn and say, I'm going to be long because this is a low probability reversal. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is give the bears a chance or two to try and fail and then buy when they give up. That's the correct way of trading them. So here's another one, three pushes up to here. This is very tight. This is in the direction of the trend. Or, you know, we can say in the direction of the market regime, because now it is bullish environment. Odds of this to completely reverse is low. When you get something going, then you can start to look for shorts. The very dangerous thing that a trader can do is to, is to assume that there is going to be a wedge, even without seeing it. That will be selling somewhere around these bars. Like you say, we have three legs up and it has to reverse at this point. So I'm going to start fading the breakouts, looking for that resumption. Uh, sorry, sorry, looking for that reversal down when there is still no evidence of it. That is very dangerous because these wedges can go up for many, many bars. In fact, the market can double this entire range. Like you get the breakout strong above this. And then all of this becomes a leg in a trading range that is not broken out of. And then there is a target measured move up based on the based on the length of this three push leg. So just seeing three legs is not enough to take the opposite trade. Yeah, Ali, it, are you are mm -hmm. you saying um, buy the trend resumption um, after the counter trend um, reversal? So that you've got a trend um, and then there's a wedge reversal down. And then are you saying when you, you buy the counter trend, are you buying the resumption of the trend? Yeah, so like this, this switch. So look at this. So at this point, there's a triangle bear flag here. This triangle, instead of breaking down and resuming down, 
got a bull breakout and some follow through. This changes the environment. And now we are in, in a bull regime. We are above both moving averages. And then the market starts to pull back. And at some point, this becomes a wedge against the environment. The environment is probably bullish at this point. This becomes a, an attempt to resume the bear trend or start a bear trend, but it is against the intentions of the market. The market is in a bull environment, and this has a very high probability of not being able to start a bear trend and stop here and become a continuation pattern for the bulls. Thanks for clarifying. Sure, no problem. I mean, in this case, everybody who sold faded this breakout. They were ultimately successful, but that's not a very smart way of trading. Now, this one, this is interesting. This one is actually okay. It is in the direction of the environment. So it's a bull environment and the wedge is a bull leg in a bull trend. But you have had a extremely big crash here and this is probably going to have some consequences, even if they are late. And we are testing the top. So there is parabolic wedge up to resistance. This is another dwelling lines pattern. So this is an okay one, despite the fact that it has a lot of energy in it. So there are lots, lots of bull bars here, here, here. But these can be vacuum moves to an area of resistance. So this is counter to the last strong thing in the market. This has more than 60% chance of going sideways to down for the next, you know, how many bars is this? You can say it started here, 35 to 52. So that's about 17 bars, right? So for the next eight bars or so, we're going to be sideways to down. That's two, six. Should be ending about here.